What's up everybody? It's your boy Richie Sky here back with another video and today we're going to be discussing how to get verified on Instagram and there are five steps that I'm going to tell you about today and if you follow these five steps I am pretty sure you can be verified on Instagram because these are the same steps that I followed but I didn't really know that I was following these steps so I'm going to break it down to you so that you guys can figure it out you know much faster than I did. So just a little bit of backstory. You guys know I was on a show called Stripped on Bravo, and I was also I'm also on a show right now called Daily Flash on CW Fox, airing across the country in different markets, all over the place. So go to dailyflash.tv to find out more about where we're showing in your city. But just to got just to kind of give you a little bit of backstory, I've been trying to get verified on Instagram for about two years prior to me actually getting verified, and you know. Because I was on a network show, I thought that I would get an immediate verification. Um, that's not how it works. So, Bravo PR did public did some publicity for us on the show, but it's a it was a first season show, so you don't really know how big it's gonna be. So, I don't really know how much they put into it. I mean, but I I had a good run because I did Watch What Happens Live. I did some other shows, I did radio shows, I did a lot of promotion for the particular episode that I was featured on. And I thought that coming off of there, I would get an immediate verification, but it really didn't work like that. And I kind of, looking back on it, I figured out what happened, why it happened when it did, and what I could have done differently. And I'm going to give you guys that advice today. Um, does this guarantee verification? No, but it does increase your chances of verification. And if you stick around to the end, I will tell you the thing that will increase your chances even more. And it's almost foolproof to work. But you got to do a little bit of work ahead of time. And I will advise you that it probably is going to take you a couple of months. But if you are really focused on it, I think it can easily be done, especially now in 2019. So I'm going to go over all of this for you guys. And I made some notes because I wanted to make sure I hit all the points that I wanted to hit in this video. Um, if you've already you've already probably seen my video on um, how I got verified on Instagram, I made that video because I was excited about you know getting verified on Instagram, and I wanted to let people know you know what they can do. So I also give you some tips there, but I've kind of really refined that um, even from from that video, I thought about it more and I thought, okay, what can I, how can I really give this to people? Because this is the question that I actually get the most in my Instagram. How do you get verified? And I, I guess maybe you can't tell, I, I really don't know. You would think it might be automatic that they would know why because I've appeared on network shows and you know, honestly, if you Google me, you can Google everything about Richie Sky and see everything that I've done. So I'm not quite sure why people ask that, but um, a lot of my friends were asking me, why aren't you verified? So it was a really, <laughs> I, I was really kind of depressed about that for a little while. And I'm like, looking back on it, like, I don't know why I was depressed, but you know, when you want something, you want it. So it's kind of like a goal, a benchmark, like, you know, it's, it's easy to sell yourself to brands and to employers and that sort of thing. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, I think you guys know what it means to be verified on Instagram at this point. So let's get right down to it. All right. So step number one is to build a brand. And I, when I say build a brand, I know that can be a sort of a loose, um, the word, because everybody talks about brand and branding themselves and, and what does that mean? And I think for me, I'm going to give you guys the essentials of what I would say a brand is. You know, for me, it's like, you know, just have a logo, have a website, you know, have an Instagram page. All of these things should match. So, you know, whatever your, maybe, let's say you use your name or your stage name or the name that you go by or your company name. Like, so your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, your website, your Pinterest, whatever you have. All of that should, the name should match across the board. That would make it a lot simpler during the verification process if all of these branding elements match. So you really want to think about that. And it's easy for some people because they just use their first and last name. It's easy for some people in other ways as well because they may use an alias. 
So Richie Sky has always been my DJ name. So honestly, it was just easier to just stick with that as I went on with doing everything else in my life. Um, from, you know, working on camera to, you know, being on reality TV. It was just easier to keep that branding the way that it was. And it has stuck with me for like the past, I would say maybe more than 10 years. So that's gonna be the first thing that I would tell you guys to do is build a brand. All right, so the next thing that I would tell you to do, and I know this is gonna sound, um, it's gonna sound interesting for people who are outside of the entertainment industry. And you can do this one of two ways. The first way is to create a Wikipedia page for yourself because now you've got a brand and now you've got an official website that kind of chronolo chrono chronicles your, <laughs> your, your work, whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you're an artist or maybe you are a, a painter. Maybe you are a, you know, a CEO of your own company. Whatever it is that you do, create that Wikipedia page about yourself or have one created. Now, I know that this sounds kind of weird to some people because you're like, why would I do that? But Wiki is one of the best like results that you can get from a search engine because it's really extremely, it's extremely efficient and it helps for the next step that I'm going to tell you guys. This, the other thing that you guys can do for people who may be models, for people who may be singers or actors or entertainers, or even if you work in the reality space or want to work in the reality space, is to get an IMDB page. This is going to be an industry standard page that lists all of your information, every all of your credits, anything that you worked on. So it's a way to gain credibility in the entertainment industry. And Anyone who is serious about work in entertainment, you have to have this. And it doesn't matter how few credits you have on there, just have something on the page and just have it listed. Because this next step is going to rely heavily on your branding elements and your Wikipedia page or your IMDB page. And this third step that I'm going to tell you guys is enhance your SEO. So. What that means is search engine optimization. So that means when someone types in your name in Google, then everything about you pops up and you want relevant things to pop up about you, not just your Instagram page, not just your Facebook page, but you should also have your website pop up. You should have you know, your YouTube page pop up. You should have um, your blog pop up because all of these things will lead back to you and they help Instagram verify your identity. So the verification process is really a process for recognizing individuals so that there's no mistaking them for someone else. And it also indicates that you are a public figure. So this is what you want to build for yourself. And by increasing your SEO, it will help whoever is behind the verification process with Instagram, whoever is looking to verify your account, it will help them recognize you are who you say you are and you've done the work. So having your Wikipedia page and your IMDB page will greatly help you because they will be the first things that pop up along with a picture of you so that people can never mistake your identity for anybody else's, right? So in doing all of those things, it will actually help, again, whoever is doing the verification process because it is a person doing this, guys. It's going to be someone that verifies this information. We all know this at this point. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a program. It's not anything like that at this point. It is an actual person. So you just want to make it easier for them to find you because the first thing that they're probably going to do is Google you. Now, the... Another way that you guys can build SEO is via blog posts, via um, interviews, um, you know, uh, anything that you write and put out there. Let's say you put out some content on Medium, maybe you're putting content out on Reddit, maybe you're putting content out on StumbleUpon. So those are great ways, or LinkedIn. Those are great ways to get content out there that people can find and they can, they can trace back to your name. 
So you really want to make sure you get some great content out there so that, you know, it is traced back to you when someone types in your name in Google. Again, this is all enhancing your SEO, which enhances your business in so many ways as well. So a lot of times people are for, right now, they're foregoing the idea of putting out a lot of content, but it really does help you in the long run. It's, it's not a short run game, it's a long run game. This is why I said in the beginning, it may take you, you know, a month to several months to really get this going. Now, the fourth thing that you guys want to do is to publicize yourself and gain media attention. All right, so what do I mean by that? Well, you know, by this point in time, you've built your brand, whatever your brand is, and now you want to start getting interviews. You want to start attracting media attention. And is this easy? No, but is it hard? No. Um, there are so many easy ways to, to do this. You know, you can build a media kit, you can send out pitch emails, if you guys are interested in that, I do have a course that I teach down in the description where you can learn my exact pitch strategy and I teach you exactly what to say. It's almost cut and paste. Guys, it's so I make it so simple for you and the reason why I created that was because not only do I get so many questions about how to get verified on Instagram, but I get a lot of questions about how to pitch to media or if they can be on my show or how they can get on other shows just like my show. And so I got tired of answering those questions because a lot of them were coming to my DM and that's not the way to pitch to media and get, get publicized. You know, you can also hire a public relations professional, but that would cost money. The ways that I teach you in this course are going to be free and it's called the Perfect Pitch Port Course and it's down in the description link in this video but back to this pitching to media will definitely get you a lot more SEO because what happens is that media outlet will publicize your appearance you're gonna publicize your appearance and those credits can go on your IMDB and on your Wikipedia page so all of these things will work in tandem to help you when the person goes to verify your identity for Instagram all right so so you publicize yourself, you've gotten into media, which is gonna be great for you because it, it, it enhances your credibility and it shows people that you are who you say you are. Not to mention it helps you expose your brand to so many different so many different people and the opportunities for repost and sharing of your content, it grows even more. So guys, as you can see all of this stuff working together, it's gonna to have a snowball effect for you. All right, and so here's, the, the final step, and I guess you guys should know this by now, but if you don't, the final step is to apply on Instagram. Now, all you need to do is go into your settings and look for Instagram verification. Simply fill out the information listed there and then hit send. And it's gonna ask you to upload a copy of your ID. That's all you need to do at this point. So from there, you kind of leave it up to Instagram and you leave it in the hands of whoever is verifying your page to do the search and do the work. Hopefully you've done laid the groundwork for your success with this and they verify your page. Now, is it as all is it always that simple? No. Because I know people that have done a lot more work in the entertainment industry than I have and have been on bigger shows than I have that still aren't verified. But it's likely because they don't have a lot of those things in place. And a lot of times one of the things that I didn't know was that your IMDB page can be created by someone else, by another entity. And it depends on if they have to report what, it, who, what you worked on and who worked on what show or whatever. And a lot of times that's how your IMDB is created. I did not create my own IMDB. And I believe it wasn't really enhanced until Bravo finally put information on there and that took a while so it wasn't an immediate thing so that explains why right after the show premiered i wasn't instantly verified and it also um explains why there are people out there who are on bigger shows that haven't been verified yet because at the end of the day this is something that everybody wants and it's more than just celebrities that get this so it's anybody who also has influence but anybody who's also taking the steps that I've listed just now, those are the people that typically get verified. So again, am I promising verification? No. Am I enhancing your chances? 
Yes, and I also have another great little hack that will dramatically increase your chances that nobody really talks about. And I'm really kind of surprised that nobody talks about this, but I did save that for the Perfect Pitch course because I wanted to include some stuff on Instagram verification in the course because I do get a lot of questions about that. So in the course, not only will you get, you know, all of the media strategies that I utilize and all of the media strategies that I recommend when you're pitching to producers like me or to journalists like me that you can use to your benefit. And so now, because I've also included this Instagram verification hack in the course, I'm really, really excited about it because I think that it's really gonna help a lot of people. And it's not, it's, it's not anything illegal. It's not anything that gets by their, um, their requirements. It's just something that nobody is talking about and nobody is really thinking about and nobody is spreading the word on. And to me, it's the thing that makes the most sense. So definitely jump into the course now. I've hugely discounted this because it's in the pre-launch phase and I'm really excited about it and I wanna get a lot of reviews. So if you, have, have, if you guys have any questions about that uh, the course, just email me at richie at mediamogulmastery.com. Again, that's richie at mediamogulmastery.com. And again, guys, these are the ways that you can get verified on Instagram. Does it happen overnight? No, it doesn't. After I did my second application, it took me about, actually it wasn't, it was less than a week to get verified. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you like videos like this, guys, comment down below. If you have questions, I will try to answer as many as possible. Um, because I would like to see as many people, you know, get verified as they can after they've done the work, you know, obviously. So again, subscribe to the channel, like, comment on this, uh, on this video and share it. And I'll be back with another video soon, guys.